So we all love creatine. You love creatine. I love creatine. I don't think my mum loves creatine, but that's only because she hasn't discovered the gym yet. But yes, creatine is a supplement that I actually think that you should supplement with. Five grams a day is more than plenty, and hopefully you will see the benefit. But it's not just so you get bigger and stronger. There are some secret benefits we're going to talk about seven of them right now. Number seven, it helps increase muscle mass. Now, I'm sure most of you do know this, but actually, when you look into creatine studies, the one thing they want to focus on more than anything is that it will improve your performance in the gym. So you're going to be bigger, you're going to be stronger, and you're going to be hitting harder. Once again, remember, it's just a one to two percent difference. Why wouldn't you want the one to two percent when you're doing something for your entire life and you die? Sorry. So I just think sometimes it's really important to remind you of the added consequences of taking it, which is, of course, if you are doing better in the gym and you are kicking more ass in the fitness palace of love yes as long as your diet and other things within your life are on point your muscles are going to grow and let's face it if you're watching this channel you probably really want your muscles to grow which kind of sounds stupid when you say it out loud there's also the extra oomph that creating gives you so yes if anybody ever tells you that this is a supplement that doesn't have the research done they are lying to you there's plenty of stuff out there that is gibberish creatine ain't one of them which moves us on to number six creatine will help your brain or at least help your brain health because as you can see in many a study creatine actually does play an important role in brain health and function so if you do supplement with it it may actually get a little bit better because yet more research has demonstrated that your brain requires a significant amount of atp when performing difficult tasks you don't even have to look into the nitty-gritty about what atp is just know if you go and eat some creatine like you're the cookie monster your atp levels are going to increase so if creatine is healthy Helping with our overall brain function it will also help your mood, but it could also help your cognition. Some people have even said that it will help with your stress and maybe even depression, but I would take that with a pinch of salt. But ultimately, just from a headline point of view, yeah, maybe all of a sudden your brain will get a boost from this. And who doesn't want a boost in the brain? Number five, creatine helps with blood pressure. Now, what I would actually say to you that if you are struggling with any kind of health issue, be it kidney, liver, or blood pressure, do not use creatine in order to help it out. However, if you have a blood pressure machine at home, which you should have, by the way, I have one. They don't cost that much. You can keep an eye on it. And maybe it's just a teeny bit away from the normal value. There are studies, but again, there's also other studies too that say creatine may actually help with it. And the reason for that is because some people do say that creatine may improve microvascular reactivity and capillary density, which essentially increases blood flow, which then, yes, may lower your blood pressure. Now, I'm only throwing this out there to go to show you that there are other things that creatine may do for you and may actually be a byproduct of you taking it maybe you do have normal blood pressure but this helps you a little bit but i do absolutely want to reiterate because i don't want to be that kind of channel and i don't want to be that guy no creatine unless a doctor tells you otherwise is not the solution to these types of problems but do not ever forget i suppose it works both ways even though we take creatine for added strength and added muscle mass and added performance maybe there are some negative side effects too so always make sure you do your research. That's what I did with creatine. I just typed in crazy reaction of creatine or what can creatine do? And I found all of this stuff. And before creatine helps with recovery. So everybody always forgets about recovery because we think we have to go to the gym every single day and pound our asses and just be intense, intense all the time. And yes, I did just say pound your asses. But do not forget, you need to be sleeping, you need to be resting, and you need to be recovering. So while creatine is thought to improve strength and increase lean muscle mass, yes, that's true. Apparently, it can also help muscles recover quicker during exercise. This will also be the case when obviously you're taking your downtime. So if you're working chest on a Monday and you want to work it again on a Thursday or Friday, if you do supplement with creatine when you do get to work, Workout number two, maybe you'll be in a better position to achieve muscle synthesis. Some people have even said that when they take creatine, it can delay onset muscle soreness or DOMS or actually get rid of it altogether. Again, that's the main problem, right? If you do do a bunch of bench pressing on the first day of the week and you get to day four and you do it again, you're like, oh my gosh, my chest still hurts so much. You can get away with this here and there, but you don't want to start overtraining. So whatever you can do to get back to as close as possible to 100% before you do get to your second round, that's what you should do. Number three, creatine helps your bones. So once again, you have to do your research and you have to look into this. But yeah, apparently if you supplement with creatine for a long time, it's going to help your bone density. Now, I will say this out loud, but I don't really know what it means. But creatine monohydrate supplementation can increase the phosphocreatine creatine ratio in skeletal muscle tissue. Or basically, because you are improving your strength and because you are improving your fitness palace of love stuff and because you are improving your brain, your bones go, well, I want to be left out. Maybe I should get stronger too. However, just to give you parity, there are other studies that say if you're an older human being and your bones have already gone through some damage, this may not actually do any good at all. So I suppose you could say 
slightly the earlier you start supplementing with creatine, the better. However, once again, I would have a 180 for you because you do not need to add all the supplements in the world when you first start training. See how your body reacts to it. Make sure your diet is on point, on point and make sure that you're kicking ass in the gym. And then, yeah, when you get to your first plateau, add in a supplement. When you get to your second plateau, add a supplement. But given that I would always put creatine number one on that list, and so you may start with it young. I know that I certainly did. Maybe your bone health will be better. My bones are pretty good. Maybe that's why. Number two, creatine can help with weight management. So look, can creatine improve or give you fat loss? No, absolutely not. You can't smash a pizza, make love to a pizza, t-shirts available now, and then take some creatine and go, <laughs> it's not going to make a difference, it is. It just comes down to some studies where some scientists put a bunch of people on creatine and a bunch of people not on creatine, and they get them to perform various exercises or the same exercises to see how the supplement does respond in them. And yes, those that were taking creatine lost about a pound more fat than those that didn't. Now, once again, I would actually tie this back into the performance state of things. If you have two people doing a running race and somebody's on creatine and somebody's not and their ATP levels are increased and they're pushing it a bit harder, your body doesn't really know specifically that you have supplemented with creatine. It's just going to go, well, you're working harder than that guy. So obviously the results are going to be twice as good. So as ever, it's a combination of things. Should you be taking creatine? Yes. Should you be doing resistance training? Yes. Should you be doing cardiovascular activity? Yes. And is there the chance, you never know for sure, that all of these will come together and give you some amazing amazing marriage where you can get to your weight loss or fat loss goals absolutely and of course it's going to help you build a little bit of muscle too now these are proper research things that people have done it's not like brand new supplements that pop up people just go oh, oh, and eat them and just say well we'll see what's going to happen so again if you're worried about this stuff and you want to find the safest one I'm pimping for creatine again. Which ties into number one. Creatine does help because it's proven. Yeah, again. Now, everyone says we don't know what's going to happen in 100 years, but you could say that with a lot of products. But creatine has been around for a good while now, and a lot of athletes have used it. And it's one of the reasons that it's banned in some sports, which causes so many problems for people that don't get it. Oh my gosh, it must be a steroid. No, it is still a performance-enhancing drug. It's just compared to something else you could do, which may be like 25%. Once again, it's in the 1% to 2% range. But it does help. Now, of course, you could be a creatine non-responder. You never know how your body is going to react to anything that's just the way of the world some people try and dye their beards and it doesn't work the beard dye goes no i don't like this hair which makes no sense it's jabloni baloney which is just me making up gibberish but as long as you're not a creatine non-responder and you are supplementing with five grams a day i absolutely think that you will see benefit from it now look are some people going to need seven grams a day probably are some people probably going to need 2.5 grams a day probably just don't go crazy with it some people go up to 10 grams that may be good for you but don't just read an article and decide oh that's why it's not working it could be working and you don't notice just because it's sort of like happening in small increments. So take creatine out for two weeks, compare and contrast, and then you'll know. So ultimately, what I'm telling you is please, please, for the love of everything, be safe. But I'm a big fan of creatine. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe, and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about creatine. And of course, notification gang, hit the notification squad. And look, there's a video right there. Please do give it a click. YouTube loves it. Also, gorillamind.com forward slash Simon. You can sign and get 10% off. They have brand new energy drinks at the moment, which are just incredible. I have one before I work. I had one before I did my progress show yesterday. Not only do they give you energy, they give you focus, and it's a nootropic, and it gives you concentration and pump. Honestly, what a wonderful invention that is, and they're selling out quick. So again, if you go to Simon, you will get some money off, and you help me too, which I appreciate. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316. If you want to be involved in some Q&A videos, and just help me financially too, let's be honest with this. Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter, merchandise, Samson Athletics, and Pro Wrestling Tees. All the links are down there. And again, you can actually buy a Simon Miller make love to this t-shirt, which is absolutely bonkers. Who the hell knows what's going on? Cameo if you want a personalized video message. And I think that's it. You take care of yourself. I'll speak to you soon. Love you. Goodbye. Take creatine.